so I'm gonna go over how to set up a way for you to create a text file create a name or not create but write a name or text or whatever you want in this text file and that will become the servers name and when you build the server if you want to change the server name you can then change the text file reload the server and the server name will change along with it so to start you need to go to tools and add a new C++ class click all classes and type in blueprint function library and it's this one right here you're gonna click next and you are going to name this read write rwtxt file you have to write it just like that I'll explain why later um, but should you change it to something different there is another critical step that you are going to have to follow um, if you just name it this then just follow along with the video and you'll be perfectly fine and you're gonna click create class and it's gonna open um, C not C it's gonna open Visual Studio and all that and you should have you know your stuff over here this and this should be up if you have any other C++ files open or .h files they'll be up there as well um, you can close out everything except these two now if it should because this happened to me if it opens up Visual Studio and this is not here and it doesn't have anything up here then close Visual Studio go to wherever your game is at mine I use source control but you're gonna wanna reopen the SLN file which will bring you to this and then go to your go to folder for games your game name go to source and then it will be right there so for these two right here I'm gonna put this in the description inside of the dot H file this one right here you are going to copy from public all the way to there and then you're going to paste it in here right after it says public because this won't be here none of this so this will be gone so you'll see generated body and then these two brackets and you're gonna space and then paste it I'll leave it here for a second so you can paste yours and see how much they compare um, and then inside the C++ file there will be nothing in here except for this and you're gonna go back to this and then you're gonna highlight all of that sorry all of this and then just paste it in here and then you are going to save all and you're going to go to build and click build solution if yours fails for whatever reason uh, when it does a shader thing it's probably because you have the engine open I've already done this so if it fails it doesn't matter to me because it's already there but sometimes it'll work with the engine open sometimes it won't work with the engine open it depends on how unreal feels that day yours may build faster yours may build longer it all depends on how far you are along in your project I got eight errors. Yeah, see, shader compile, shader compile worker. If my engine was closed, this error wouldn't have existed. The other seven are completely irrelevant. They don't matter whatsoever. Um, so then you can lower this down, and then go to your ARPG game instance. So if you go to your folder for Action RPG and just type in game instance, it should be the very first one, and then it brings you here. Uh, if you follow my other video for how to create a dedicated server then you should have this and if you didn't follow it then this is gonna be you're probably lost so I would recommend going and following that video first I'll leave a card up in the right hand corner if I forget I apologize but just go through my channel and you'll see how to create a dedicated server with ARPG um, and then you're going to right click and type in load txt and you're gonna drag that to the that thing right there and this is going to say server name dot text 
then you're going to go to wherever your game is at. Now I actually do need to find it. Uh, it is somewhere. Ah, right there. All right, that is the correct one. No, it's Watt Workspace too. Um, No, yeah, that should be it. Because if I go here, right, I apologize for this part. If I do that and then go back to here and I refresh, yeah, okay, that's the correct one. So then inside of here, you're going to create, you're still going to create a new folder or a new file, not a rich text folder file. You're going to create a regular text file. And then you are going to name this the exact same as that. Then you're going to open it up and this is the server name. Thank you. Save that, close it, close it, and now when the server gets created it'll find this server name text file and boop, 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 send it along its way. Now we can try and take a stab at that because I know some people are going to want to have self-hosted servers by chance if they do. We can get rid of that and we can go over here and plug you into you, play your controller to there, public connections to there, use LAN to there. Okay. This needs to stay unchecked. If you're wondering how that got there, you can either copy and paste from here or of course you can do create session advanced or sessions and it'll pop up and then it automatically st is set up for um, a listen server uh, then we can come down here and we can copy this right and paste it and then we do a load text send that to there and then do the same for this No, I lied. Oh wait, did I? Okay, yeah, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So yeah, you can grab all of that, put this here, right? And then you can do this. And then for the file name, you would drag off of here and you could technically go through the custom events and go to the widget for where you create your server and then create uh, variables and send it through each section to this custom, excuse me, custom event and then drag off of there to there. So whatever they type in then follows to there. Or you could do it even second simpler and just ignore that altogether and then just send it from there to there. If you were here mainly for the dedicated server part, then that part's finished. You're pretty much done. Um, I have ADHD, so I'm traipsing off into other areas that I probably shouldn't be in, but my brain needs to know. Um, so we need to do lobby, is it? Yeah, I'd be in here. Uh, BP lobby start, so you would go to host session. Where is that button? That's button two, apparently. Okay, so you would, this is, I'm not going to leave this, but you would grab a text, we'll put it right there, call that the game name, right? I'm sorry, we don't want regular text, we want an editable text block. Uh, editable text. a text box. Not sure really. No. Why am I having a hard time doing this? Add a 
visible t oh it's because of how he has his stuff set up isn't it so we'll do that where's it at uh, editable text do that do that my dogs are fighting in the background so I apologize type server name here or we'll just do server name Okay, so then you would edit that to be the server name. This is again very fucking dirty and whatnot. Give me two seconds, I apologize. Okay, sorry. Um, so, server name. We changed the variable name to server name. No, we did not. We changed the sir server name. Then we'll go back into the graph. And then we grab the server name. Get text. And then on this, we need to add a new element. Of text and it will be server name that should follow through to this yes it did and then you plug that into that and then we go back into here and plug that into that like like so so then whatever the host creates the server name to be it will set it and then it will create it um, to further show that this works we can do this yep that's perfectly fine and then we need to find the player controller if I can spell it right And then we're just going to go over here and type in keyboard K. Find the K. Load text. Print string. Uh, and then we named it server name text. Right? I don't remember anymore. server name text and then inside of it we have this is the server name so if I click play oh my god a lot of errors but if I hit K this is the server name so it reads the text file it prints it out so in basic ability you know, or not ability, but in basic principle, whatever you put inside of, not that, whatever you put inside of here will then get sent through the create sessions node and that will become your server name. All right, if you have any questions or got lost or whatever the case may be, then please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you, bye.